Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, the Girl Reinventing channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. Today I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing something that I haven't ever done before, and that is collaborate with a woman by the name of Corey. Her channel is Desert DIY, and she's doing an ugly duckling challenge where she's challenged anybody who wants to participate to take something ugly and turn it into something beautiful, an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan. Well, I have that piece in my basement that I thought would be perfect to transform in that manner. So that is what I have done. Um, it is behind me, it's already finished. I'm not gonna show you the whole detailed piece because I want to show you in the progression of it, but I will show you what it used to look like. Uh, this is a drawer that came out of it. Blah! Oh my goodness, nasty. Uh, it was a pick, I got it from the curb. One day I was walking my dog, Lucky, who you all know if you've been following me. I take my dog for a walk just before I begin any project and every single day but before I begin projects he uh, typically becomes very anxious and needs a big walk so anyway off topic which typically happens in my channel walking down the street I saw a bunch of furniture on the side of the road this piece was in that bunch and I picked I picked the whole lot of things um, beautiful pieces I believe they were just downsizing or something and just didn't have the patience to go to the restore or whatever but i was very grateful because i ended up with some really nice pieces well i saw the potential we shall say um, this particular piece was in particularly rough shape it had buckled veneer and mold on the drawers and just years and years and years of dirt and grime and whoever knows what else but full of nastiness so I loaded it up into the truck and brought it home and kind of stared at it for a while, but I figured when I saw this post, um, you know, that the challenge come up on Corey's channel, Desert DIY, I thought, well, that'd be a perfect way to kind of, you know, participate and potentially maybe get some friends to join my channel. So here we are. My name is Melissa, and I am the creator of this channel, Girl Reinvented, and um, yeah, that's what I do pretty much every day, reinvent myself in some way or another by learning something new, trying something new. I hold um, two positions in the world, professional positions such as a nurse, I'm a registered nurse, and I'm a massage therapist, and I am a mom, and a wife, and a lover of all creatures, and I'm constantly learning new things, new things and new tasks and a lot of stuff I learn on YouTube. So thanks, Corey, because I've learned some things from you along the way. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I could ramble on and on and on, but I will not um, because I will show you what I did here because it was a pretty cool transformation, power tools involved. Um, I will link the description to Corey's Desert DIY channel in my description box below, along with the playlist for the rest of the collaborators on my description box below. And, you know, join me, please, come on, let's go, let's go have some fun. Wacky things happen here, and uh, today's no exception. First, I decided to remove that scalloped skirt. It was just too bulky for me. The legs were in pretty rough shape, so I had to use some wood glue and my DeWalt Brad nailer to help to fortify those. Uh, I also used some clamps to get the, um, the veneer straightened back out. I have a whole video on that, which I'll link in the uh, description box. These are just little feet, little stainless steel furniture feet. After further inspection, I realized that the feet also had some water damage, so this Minwax wood hardener is perfect for that. Here's where the veneer was all ripped back. 
I thought maybe I could peel the rest of it off using the warm towel, just kind of let it sit there for a while, but it didn't really work out. What I'm doing here is I'm just trying to clean up the top of the table, or the underside of the top, so that when it's flipped right side up, you don't really see any of that nasty leftover paint. Using that citrus strip, I went ahead and applied it to the top. I just want to strip all that ugly paint away. And I always cover my pieces with plastic wrap to help it work faster. At this point, I decided I'm going to turn this into a cupboard, so I'm just trying to figure out which drawer I want to go with. I'll be saving these for another project. Time to look through the wood pile to figure out what I'm going to use for the base. You guessed it, this was some pretty nasty paint to remove. I'm not quite sure what kind of paint this was, but it was really stuck on there. First coat of citrus strip hardly removed any of this. You see pretty wood peeking out from underneath, so we're going to continue. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. Time for some power tools. The Sawzall will remove that bar in between where the drawer used to sit. This is Quickie Wood Wood Putty. I'm going to mix it up here with my hands and then fill the gaps where the drawer bar used to be and I cut it out with the Sawzall. There's a gap there, so I'm just going to fill that up and let that dry. In the meantime, we will be cutting some of the pine boards to fit on the bottom and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. More power tools. Everything is fitting pretty snugly, and I'm happy with the way it's turning out. Figured I'd check in and let you guys know how we're doing on this piece here. Um, after uh, like a fortnight of sanding and stripping, I was finally able to get all of that nasty varnish off the top of here. I I'm not sure what kind of paint that was, but man, it took three applications of my citrus strip, which I, I've never had to use three, three applications before. Um, I was able to get the bottom wood planks on. I've sanded down the patches of wood epoxy that I mixed together and stuck in those little gaps. Um, I sanded that down with 60 grit sandpaper. I spared you the details of that because who wants to really watch people sand wood? Not me. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I decided that I'm going to, well, let me show you. I figured that I figured this would probably be a better way to show you since um, this is what you're interested in. There I sanded down with 60 grit sandpaper. I really used a rough grit so that I could grind it down. Um, today I'm going to glue and um, brad nail in the wooden base. I'm going to be using 120 or I'm sorry 150 to 220 grit sandpaper to just kind of go through and give this a light scuff sand to get it ready for the first base coat of paint. I've decided to use these drawer pulls. I'm going to be taking them back off so that I don't get any paint on them and this is the top and you can still see there's still a little bit of residue left over here. I'm going to just use some sandpaper now and just sand through here. I know it looks kind of beat up and gross in the video right now, but I really like the wood grain. Definitely, this is a very hard wood. 
Yeah, so that's the plan, just to uh, sand all this down, really get all this grunge off of here, and then um, assess from there, and maybe just use some minerals, mineral oil to seal it in. Now guys, I was going to take a rag to the side and really get the rest of this veneer off, but no, I'm not doing that. I'm not wasting the time doing that. I'm just gonna use textured paint with sea spray and I'm going to texturize all down in here and sand it all down and then it's time for paint and here we go. All right, guys, can you see this here? This is where I started to peel back the uh, top layer of veneer, but you can really see where the line of demarcation is between the underneath layer. So what I'm gonna do is I got some salt wash. That's what it looks like before you mix it up. I just mixed it up with a little bit of water and a popsicle stick, and I'm just gonna try to soften that line so that you can't really see it. This will dry, it'll dry, and it'll give it texture. So I'm just gonna smooth it on here where I see the lines and kind of make it so that it has a lot of texture. And then I'm gonna go back in with my paintbrush and the farm fresh color paint blend it all in. I know this looks like it looks like a hot mess but it won't look like a hot mess for long. So I'm going to go in with my paintbrush and just soften the line. I think that looks a hell of a lot better than it did. And it'll just look like world texture, I think. This is an experiment. I decided to add some more aged texture by putting some sponge paint on. I used the melange paint in Maduro Brown and a sea sponge to sponge the paint on to give it a textured finish. Then I went underneath and watered it down <clears throat> and used it as a stain on the base. And look, you can hardly even see where those broken veneer pieces were. After a good sand back, I'm going to use Debbie's DIY wax in clear and a wax brush to put the wax on. This will seal the piece and bring out all the underneath layers of colors. We're down to the last step. Remember this ugly duckling? Well, look what she's become now. Thanks for coming along on this transformation with me on the Girl Reinventing channel. This piece I use on my massage room as a cupboard to hold all of my linens. Uh, the veneer where it was damaged, you can not even see any of the damage anymore. I'm so pleased with the way that turned out. 
And I'd like to say thank you to Corey at Desert DIY for giving us the opportunity to create these videos to put on your collaboration playlist. It has been a lot of fun. And to everyone still watching, thanks for sticking with me and I'll catch you next time for more flips, fixes, and picks on the Girl Reinventing channel. Ciao!